Action. Things I've learned down under, no offense. I had this picture in my mind, this vision of palm trees and girls and cut off teas with accents. Lying on sandy beaches, eating fresh peaches and pineapples and coconuts with a straw. While the ocean waves splash my toes playfully, like warm and wet and comforting, like sex on Sunday morning. I imagine I'd be sipping pina coladas and cuddling with koalas and petting my pet kangaroo, Ruby. Because in my head I named her that, obviously. But somehow, Australia's not exactly how I imagined it. No, Australia's all about meat pies, lamb burgers, chicken schnitzel, and fries everywhere. But they don't call the fries fries, they call them chips. Here you go, mate. Chicken parmy, chips, and tomato sauce. Just how they like it. Like ketchup, only runnier from the heat and I detect more cinnamon. But you won't get a tip, because servers don't get tips. Servers don't even exist here. We're all waiters and waitresses, like before, only now, down under. And even though I speak English, I don't speak Aussie English, where words have no endings, it's just beginnings than air. Or perhaps that's unfair, and their words are just more like puppies, chasing the tails of other word pops. Don't even get me started on abbreviations. Down under, two syllables is too long. Abbreviations is probably not abbreviations at all, but breeds or shuns for all I know. But everything has one, or a different name altogether. So I like walking to the grocery store, the market, to check out the stock. And I can't keep a straight face. Even their cheese is racist. And it's tasty, not cheddar. There's biscuits and capsicums, cough lettuce and kiwi fruit, one word. And there's three different aisles just for lollies. I don't know about you, but when I pictured Australia, it was all like tan and thin, like chocolate Pringles or porno, but without the fake boobs or fake nails, huge pet peeves. But what do I find out? It's the second saddest country in the world after you know where, but hey, I don't judge. That's where everyone here thinks I'm from anyway, which I'm not. They say, how are you going? Where's the boats in the States used from? I've been to New York. Then I say, no, Canada. And they say, Canada, eh, eh? Do you eat seal blubber? And I'm like, hell yeah. Well, not me personally, but I digress. It's not all fun and food here down under. There's ocean and beaches and bitches, and I don't mean bitches in a derogatory sense that's degrading to women. I mean like bitches, like uber bitchy people, like a snake slithered up their bum bitchy. <laughs> Men, women, and otherwise. With attitudes bigger than their surfboards. The sun is so hot and the ozone layer is shot, new spots are appearing on my skin. It's the skin cancer capital of the world, they tell me. And a bottle of sunscreen costs any, like way more than anyone can afford. No one wears it, no one cares, they tell me. Oh, okay. And they tell me where I can find a kangaroo. At any Aussie pub on a bun with some beetroot and an egg. Oh, my poor sweet Ruby. Tell me more, tell me more, down under.